A wet weekend ahead. I'm meteorologist Joe Martucci. We are in third place for the wettest year on record, and we are not even halfway through the month so far. Here's our top three. 1948 takes the top spot. Ten years later, took the second spot, and we must have something with eights here. Maybe years that are eights, they like to be wet here because our year in third place, 62.63 inches of rain. Now, by the time we get towards the end of the weekend here, with all the rain we should see, we should be able to move into second place for wettest year on record. Average, just 41 and three quarters of an inch. We have been way past that for a couple of months already. We go through the evening, temperatures will be seasonal here, sliding through the 40s, partly cloudy to mostly cloudy night here. Then we get below 40 on the mainland at 10 o'clock. If we go into the shore, it should be above 40 during that time. And of course, we have the geminid meteor shower. If you want to do a little meteor shower peaking, AccuWeather does give us a pour. Now, I believe that we are going to be a little better than that, but I'll just give it a C here. The partly cloudy sky, mostly cloudy at times, gives us a little window of opportunity to look for shooting stars, but it is going to be few and far between. I would wait until next year if you're looking for this. Temperatures 30 in the mainland, 40 at the shore. Then as we go into our Friday here, temperatures in the mid-50s everywhere. That is mild. That's uh, 10 degrees above average for this time of year. If you want to do some holiday shopping, Smithville, Cape May, those were a couple of places I was talking about earlier. Friday would be your best day to do so. We do have patchy drizzle that does develop, and that is all before our weekend rainstorm. As we go through the weekend, it is periods of rain, especially Friday night into Saturday. Totals look to end up around two inches at most for some of our spots, generally between one to two inches. We are going to monitor as closely as we go through the weekend for any flooding concerns. In terms of what we can expect from storm impacts, 40 mile an hour winds at the shore is what we're anticipating here. Isolated thunderstorms, also around possibility. The usual spots of roadway flooding and coastal flooding will not be ruled out. Overall, it is a low impact event because it's coming over such a long period of time, but it is a high impact in terms of maybe canceling or ruining any weekend plans that you do have here. Mainland seven day forecast shows as we go deeper into our weekend, the rain chances lessen. So by the time we get towards Sunday afternoon, it should just really be hit or miss showers clearing out Sunday night. Then we go into Monday and Tuesday, basically the same as each other. Areas of sunshine, areas of clouds, temperatures seasonal and windy from the northwest. Sustained winds 15 to 25 miles an hour are looking likely. And then we see plenty of sunshine for the middle of next week. We go into the short seven day forecast. Same story here in terms of our weather conditions, temperatures about the same warmer at the night. And we do have those windy weather conditions on Monday and Tuesday, especially at the shore. Gusts could be in the 40s, especially Tuesday morning. That's looking to be the windiest time of the week. That's all for today, everybody. On Friday, we will have updates for you about the weekend. And meanwhile, for the latest in South Jersey weather, you can follow me on Facebook and Instagram at JoeMartWX, Twitter at ACPressMartucci, or thepressofac.com slash weather.